Hello. Hey guys. In just a minute, I'm going live with the legendary Miss Sharon Needles, queen of Halloween. Hey, say hi to Pamela Anderson for me. Send her kisses. I haven't seen her in a long time. We're gonna wait for Sharon to Come on board. I'm gonna take out my gum because she'll probably do some magic on me and make me choke to death live. So, hey, yes, Miss Sharon Needles is joining us momentarily. Shady Gay Room, I see ya. All right, guys, hold on. I'm just looking for Miss Sharon Needles. Sharon Needles. Hello. Oh my gosh, oh my God, Christopher Buckle, thank you so much for having me. Now, I know we have limited time here today, so I prepared some questions for you because everyone knows too much about moi. But, but first, for, for your fans who have been following you, you I mean, because let's, let's just get it out of the way. You're one of those legendary makeup artists. You're up there with Wade Brady. You're up there with uh, Kevin O'Coin. You're up there with uh, 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 Matthew Anderson. But now everyone and everyone's mother has somehow become a makeup artist in the golden age of makeup. I have a quick question for you before we get into anything. Sure, because sure. I was wondering, first of all, yes, pencil eyebrows, pencil thin eyebrows are the best thing to do when you are running out of time. And Absolutely. Like, <laughs> one stroke. One, one stroke. Yeah, like me in high school. My first question for you. Miss um, Buckle, is where's the future of makeup going? Oh well, the future of makeup is going to go extra heavy, mm. extra dramatic, extra mm. theatrical, and extra surreal. Yeah, so not like that realistic are, makeup that I'm always on trend, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, Christopher Buckle, I I want to say happy, happy Halloween. It's the happy best Halloween. time of year. And thank you so much for allowing uh, Christopher Buckle Cosmetics to be the makeup sponsor for the Masket or Casket Share Needles special. I am wearing the Perfecting um, Foundation Stick as we, well, I didn't use it, I abused it. With the blurring core? <laughs> With the blurring core. Sharon was very confused by the um, priming blurring core of the Triplicity <laughs> Foundation, but I think it looks like you've really worked it out. I see a, a blurring and a priming Thank you, thank you. Also, also, I put the Vaseline on the viewer's actual eyeball. <laughs> now, for people who are tuning in just because I happen to be here, a little background on you. You started doing makeup uh, with Patricia Fields and working with amazing uh, photographers. And you weren't just a makeup artist, you had a good eye for business. Uh, your amazing products ended up on QVC, which is my favorite show. I mean, uh, it, QVC used to be really campy and then, you know, real stars started going on there. And of course, you've been a makeup artist for Ariana Grande. You did Cher's makeup and burlesque. And most notably, you are the the inventor of the Mariah Scary, excuse me, the Mariah Carey uh, face. But real quick question, since we're in this time of Halloween, you do uh -huh. work with someone uh, who terrified me as a child, and someone I emulated in my video, Battle Axe, which is uh, Faye uh, Dunaway. Can you tell me anything about that? Faye Dunaway. Well, Faye, um, she is a legend. She's an Oscar winner, um, fantastic actress who takes her craft very, very seriously. And um, I had the pleasure of having her as a house guest for a few months here in New York. <laughs> and and um, she is not to be effed with. 
<laughs> she is, um, she's a tough cookie. And um, when things are not the way she likes, she'll let you know it. That's right. Well, if you're going to clean the floors, you have to move the plant, Christopher. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Scrub hard, Christina. Now, not only are you a famous makeup artist, your face is also famous. You never age. I'm assuming you went to Lee Souls and you took the potion. Um, it's a miracle. Yeah, you, you are a walking miracle. You have one of the most handsome faces I've ever seen. You, you dance between a feminine and masculine. But when you were a kid, like, I feel like we had similar upbringings. Like, were you attached Abuse. to like punk things and dark things and? Yes, I was obsessed with puppets and creepy well, dolls. Well, everybody loves puppets. Mannequins. Puppet, puppeteering is a lost craft, an art form, and I really, I miss it. You know, Jim Henson even had a dark side, you know, with the dark crystal. Um, yes. It's not just all feathers and fluff, you know, but um, yeah, I was obsessed with the punk movement. I was a punk myself and uh, painting deliberately and hard with unapologetic brush strokes. Not, not, like, not like my natural beat. No, not, not as soft as that. <laughs> Mm. That's that's funny you say that because last night before I went to bed, I was watching a movie where a twink was kind of a puppet. He kind of had a kind of had a hand. Uh, uh, he was kind of a human puppet. If you if you're catching my drift on this, Miss Buck. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, so. I was watching Fisting Porn. Um, <laughs> well, that's so cool because you know I think that's a great thing for fans of yours and fans of mine, especially in the GLBTQIA. Uh, umbrella scene is that so many people want to blend and be normal, but some of the most successful queer people in the world broke all the rules and indulged in so many different aspects of music, culture, and 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 uh, that sub underground life. And so, following the rules gets you around the corner, gets you around the block. That's right. But if you want to go somewhere. You got to break those rules. That's right. You can spend your whole life trying to push that wheel up the hill. Be the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to cross the street without looking both ways. You know, you got to just bolt, make a now, run for it. Again, we used so much of your amazing products on the set of Masked or Casket, the Share Needles Halloween special. Which I cannot airs... wait to watch it, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. It airs Please next tell... Go ahead, baby. Our first one airs uh, in less than an hour at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tickets are still available at clubcomingnyc.com. And I'll be, I'll be honest with you. This was the first time I wrote, art directed, did my own makeup, my own hair. I was, I was so involved with this. I, I, I'm used to being pampered. But because of COVID, we had such a small uh, uh, amount of people to be able to make a nightmare come true. And I haven't seen rushes of it until today. I must say, I must support myself. <laughs> well, I'm, I can't wait. First of all, I'm surprised you used to being pampered because you, you always struck me as a Huggies girl. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's, that's funny you say that um, because I love uh, diapers. Um, also, yeah, yeah, you can hear my song D Dirty Diaper on my oh. studio album Taxidermy, now available on long play. Um, so what do we were, expect? What do we expect for your special uh, mascot or casket? Okay. Well, actually, there was no expectations because we went bizarrely over budget, and and it was in such a small amount of time in a limited capacity because of COVID. So I was literally in drag from six in the morning till about one in the morning every day, and I would write everyone's scripts as we got time to allow. You know, because we couldn't have everyone on set. So when Amanda Lepore was in, I would immediately write her script right then and there. She's very easy to write for, which is funny because she doesn't know how to read, so she's going to say whatever she wants. <laughs> and so, like, I was writing the story not from beginning to end. So kudos to the editors for creating such a bizarre story. It really harbors back to those Lawrence Welk music specials, Paul Lynn Halloween specials, a little bit of Pee Wee's Playhouse uh, with a big dose of Elvira and Rhonda Shear USA up all night. So and it's like something for everyone, it sounds like. There's something for everyone except for pussies. But um, <laughs> what I wanted to do is I make Halloween so dark and grotesque, and I think everyone just needed a good 
belly laugh this year. We all just needed to remind us that drag is silly and stupid and irreverent and a bent funhouse mirror of society and then throw Halloween on that and create an hour and 40 minutes of music, laughs, and at times touching. I even made myself <laughs> cry. <laughs> you know, you're so amazing at improvisation. You're a great actress. Actor, actress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Christopher, I couldn't hear that last part. You are such an amazing I, actor I, I and think, actress. I think you're breaking up a little bit, Christopher, if I could just get that one <laughs> You are an time. amazing actress <laughs> and improvisationer. And um, I know that it's gonna be so great. And, you know, this is like such a great, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Venue for you in, in a way. So it's just that it's, it's your palette of darkness and um, your brand of darkness. And if you're going to spend, I, I'm a firm Halloween supporter. And I just believe that if you're going to do Halloween, please don't put a kitten ear and a whisker. That's right. You got to bring it. You have to honor, you know, save the whiskers and the ears for Easter. You know what That's I mean? That's right. That's right. Yeah, so we, I appreciate we have 365 days where we have to visually negate this world. And this yes. is the one day that allows uh, anyone, whether they're outrageous or shy, to express um, uh, their inner darkness and their imagination. And this special really brings that because I didn't want to just do it by myself. I do a Lori Beachman Halloween special every year with just me. But we, all of us are hurting from the top, from the top of RuPaul's Drag Race Queens to the hardworking, ball-busting hustlers of New York City. I wanted to involve them all. So it is a, it is a clusterfuck of, and a kaleidoscope of so many different cast and characters to bring everyone a very, very happy Halloween. It might be our last. It could be. For some, so, it will be. What's up? What's new for you? What's new for you, Miss Buckle? Well, I'll tell you, I'm, I don't have a lot planned. I'm gonna vote later after we- um, Oh, Donald Trump. Fall. And because we all have to go vote and make the world more like however we see it. That's right. Donald Trump is just like a jack-o'-lantern. Orange Hollow needs to be tossed out in November. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my big plan, of course, to watch the um, Mascular Casket special. Um, What's Mariah Carey going to be for Halloween this year? You know, normally we spend Halloween together, but she's in California and I'm in New York. So... Um, I don't know. She might have kitten ears and, and whiskers on. Because <laughs> you're not there. No. Last year we did we did like a punk rock band and we went to Heidi Klum's party and uh, that was a lot of fun. Oh, I remember. Yeah, she went kind of like a, a, hair, a, a, a hair metal uh, group. Yeah. Oh, I love those pictures. Do you have any visual plans for Halloween this year? Um, we are going to go, um, Brandon and I are going to go to um, Brandon Kitana. the Kendall. Yes, and we're going to do kind of like a, a glam vampire kind of a thing. Lots of glitter, stones, darkness. A glampire. A glampire, because it's a seated event. So, right. you know, it's it all has to happen here, you know? So, so basically, you're going as fabula. I love it. I love Fagula. it. I'm, I'm, I'm going as unemployed uh, this Halloween because of COVID <laughs> for the first time in my uh, career, you know, Halloween is my bread and butter. I travel the entire world with my Halloween show, and this will be the first one. I will be uh, seated uh, right here with, uh, you know, my PBR in hand. Uh, <laughs> never Halloween without my little go-go juice. You know, I drink so much PBR. If I was a golden girl, they'd call me PB Arthur. But uh, yeah, I'll be sitting here enjoying uh, Halloween um, alone. It's not, it's not, it's not, that's extra scary. Me. Well, I oh, think well. Um, I think you should go live in between your um, the airing of your special. Yes. Well, during this after the specials, I will be doing uh, meet and greets with fans all over the world. Uh, fans who I've been had the opportunity to meet and some I've never been able to meet. And it's such a you know that's the one thing I've missed so much is being able to connect with the people who make me who I am. I say it all the time. My fans give me more than they uh, give to me, and I have I haven't done a show since March. So I'm looking forward to chit chatting with my fans, uh, uh, blackout drunk and my nose full of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, next year, you'll just have to come back with a vengeance and you'll just have to get them real good. That's get right, that's, right. that's the great, that's the great thing about Halloween. You always have to top yourself, which is, which is not as easy as you think, but I, I've, but tried. I, it doesn't I've work. heard you've made it work a time or two. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard the Christopher unbuckled rumors. Ooh, that would be, that would be a good name for your book, unbuckled. 
That is a good name. And the book <laughs> is going to have to be started soon. Well, again, uh, Miss Buckle, thank you so much for everyone who's walking or watching. Make sure to uh, go out, uh, check out uh, Miss Buckle's incredible uh, line of products. There's a million makeup artists out there, and most of them are assholes. And I can tell you, by by the small amount of time I got to work with uh, Miss Buckle, he is sweet and as kind as he looks. But most importantly, he's funny. And so please go out and support him. And also, don't just support me, but tons of talent that will be on tonight, starting at 5 p.m., 9 p.m., and midnight Eastern Central Time. And you can get your tickets at clubcomingnyc.com for the Club Coming Presents Sharon Needles Masked or Casket. Again, Miss Buckle, thank you so much for joining me. Yes. Oh Even my though God, I'm joining you. you on your page. <laughs> <laughs> it's and all most the same importantly, thing. happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yep. And Tell Beaver High. So good. <laughs> 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 Okay, guys, so you have to watch to, um, tonight. It's airing several times, so you have to get your tickets and go to the website that Sharon told you guys about and um, tune in because it's, you know, a lot of us have to stay in. We kind of have, like, limited plans for Halloween, and, you know, it's safer to be inside. So you get a small group of people together, and you can mask it or cask it and watch a show. A lot of my friends are in the show as well, and um, it's going to be a great time. So... It's good to keep it festive no matter what's happening out there in the world. And don't forget to vote, okay? Make this world as you want to see it. Love you guys. And I'm going to go because I'm going to go vote right now. I've got to go wait on the line with my umbrella in the rain. And I'm bringing a treat, a little snack. And I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye. I'm proud of us today.